Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. We are in the, the beginning of July still. It's actually the 4th of July today. I don't know if there's any special events. That's not a pitfall, but I'll have to check. Let's head around town. I've only got one letter here, and it's from Brofina. She sent me something. Hmm, this could be a trap. I might need Isabel to sniff it and see if there's a bomb inside. Mira's in the back, catching bugs, unaware that I'm plotting her to leave the town. <laughs> My dear Adam, I decided to buy these on a whim, but they just didn't cut it for me. You might be able to pull them off, though. Your look is so different from mine, after all. With love, Brofina. Jeez, what a compl assault. Alright, let's check what she sent me. It is... Hiking Gators! These were in the store the other day. Let's check them out. Ugh, I gotta take off my shoes. These are kind of weird looking. I don't really know what to make. I'm not a big hiker, so I, I don't. I've never even heard of these really. So, but thanks, I guess, Profina. I'll hold on to them for at least a day, and we'll see what happens. Okay, let's go explore. I better dig this up before I forget about it. And grab it here. Uh, I'm still not sure if I want to stay with the bamboo fence around my house. I noticed that with the green roof and the red, like, exotic thing, it kind of looks a little, like, uh, like Christmassy. A little too Christmassy for me, so maybe I'll change the roof color or something. Anyways, oh, I, so, I forgot to show you guys. I actually, uh, expanded my house. I have a whole other room back here, but I also, I went through and I redid this whole thing. You can tell it's very, very different from before. I got a little slime on my table here, and I'm actually using my green table. I've got my bed. I changed the sheets. I'm really happy with these sheets rather than the Goostin flag. I think it looks better. It's my old shirtness thing. Uh, I got my Pikmin thing here, my deer scare. This is like a, a fake tree that I got. Elvis, out of nowhere, gives me one of his thrones, which I think are like super expensive. I tried to like get the seat redone at retail, and Cyrus was like 80,000 bells. And I was like, no way, man. I wonder how much that must cost. I'll have to look that up, but that's crazy that he just gave me a throne. And then let's go back here. Oh, Cranston sent me this. It's samurai armor. Check how sweet that is. And I got my plate armor behind. Oop, I didn't mean to hit my Daruma. I haven't made my wish yet, or it hasn't come true. But I got my samurai armor. Cranston sent me that, and then Cranston sent me another letter the same day, and was like, hey man, I was thinking about you, and I found the item that exemplifies you, and it was a tumbleweed. And I was like, thanks, you dill hole. <laughs> so I got my cuckoo clock up there. This is my little calaveras. I forget what they're... I forget how to say it. It's, Calavera. Uh, it's the little Mexican just skeleton figure, but... It's the Dios de los Muertos, uh, or whatever, the Day of the Dead thing. I got my mannequin here, my sleepy clothes. That's my little room going. I, I pretty much have, like, a bed in every room in case any, you know, any animals want to come sleep over. But this is, this is my main area. The upstairs isn't too different from before. It's still fairly similar. It's just a little more organized, I believe. I took, uh, the wallpaper and switched it out, though, with my old one, since I, uh, I needed that wallpaper for a very special exhibit, and maybe we'll go see that today. Depends on what's going on in town, if there's any 4th, 4th of July celebrations. But anyways, yeah, I think Genji sent me some wallpaper. Cranston's just been really nice with his letters. He sent me two in one day, which is pretty crazy. I think he was gonna, like, maybe send me one normally, and then he also happened to visit or have me visit or something. So let's check this out. Oh, you know what? Let's see. I need to look around. I'll head to the square first really quick. But, oh, that's definitely not. <laughs> this is, like, right in the middle of the path. I think he's like, what the heck did you... <gasps> Ooh! Oh, I almost... I ran on the grass a little bit. It's our, uh... It's a fossil. That's why I'm so excited. No. It's, um... It's Avery's home, and he just barely missed my flower patch. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, this is a really good spot. Even though he made a big dirt. It looks like he, they, he put a house here at the river and dragged it across. Anyways, so so Avery's going to move in here. That's actually a really good spot. I'm glad that uh, he didn't screw anything up. Um, let's head into town and just see. I was going to head to the square. I don't know. I feel like there's not a 4th of July event or they would have let us know. Because uh, otherwise it would have been like Isabel likes to announce the events. I think fireworks come in like August or something. So anyways, let's, uh, while we're in town, we could start with a, I was gonna say we could start with a haircut. I'm wearing a straw hat that I got from the island, and I still have my really bad haircut. It's okay, I guess. 
<laughs> I just I feel like the the one like flop on the top of it, like the big floppy part in the hair, just isn't as what. Okay. What the? Okay, guys, I, just, I took a little break there for a second. I was trying to figure out what all these items are gone at. I don't, can they sell items to villagers or like? Did you buy these tangy? Boy, hey there, hello there, Smoopy. See anything good yet? What do you want to talk about? Did you buy all this crap? I wish there were two of me so I could shop twice as fast. Okay, what the heck? The fortune cookies are even gone. The animals can't get play coins. Alright, I'm gonna go figure this out. What? Come on. Alright, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. One of the villagers has been buying stuff, or... Newt is here now. Everything okay, Newt. What? Okay, what the hell is going on? What the heck? Who's... Oh. <laughs> this is where all my stuff went. Come on, this bunny shirt, this... I have a lot of this already, but still, what is this? A phone? Is that a tent? Okay, I gotta figure this out. Alright guys, I don't really know what's going on, but I'm just gonna go about my day as usual. Oh, hey, jeez, <laughs> his eyes got so big. So I've got an idea that is so you, Adam, it's totally got your name written all over it. Yeah, my stripe lamp. You want? I bet you do. But on one condition, you give me your ruby. I've already, I've already cataloged that, buddy. I'm not giving you a ruby for it. Sorry, buddy. Sorry to disappoint. All right. Uh, so I got the, I got the one exhibit to show you guys. Let me go. I'm just a little. <gasps> hey, what's his name's here? How's it going, buddy? Why, good afternoon, youngster. Oh, I do so love to feel the sunlight streaming through the trees. By the way, is there something you need from me? May I have a badge? You have a badge for me, right? Oh, okay, you want a badge for you. Let's see. Oh, I see, I see. Let's see. Perfect badge for me. What is it? I think he's just staring at everything I do today. If you keep being good, the badge man will bring you a new badge, okay? Ba -ba -da -ba. The village representative badge. This is the prize for playing a lot. Oh. <laughs> that's good or bad, I can't tell. Okay, that's my only badge. Yeah, I wonder how many hours I've logged. Jeez. So anyways, so we got Avery. I'm gonna head back into town and get a haircut, and uh, I'll show you guys the new museum exhibit. I'm just a little... yeah? Okay. Sorry. I'll probably be editing this a lot, because there are a few gaps in there that I had to cut out. No, I was trying to figure out what the hell's going on. I'm still very confused. Alright, let's head over. Let me take... well, she'll take my hat off for me when I'm over there, magically. But let's try another random haircut and see what we get. I kind of like just doing it and, uh not looking at the guide and just see what happens. Alright, I'm gonna jump in the machine here. And you can hold on to my hat for me a bit, Harriet. Her head looks... I don't know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of something. Like a Lucky charm. It looks like the clover in the Lucky Charms, but pink or something, maybe? I can't tell. Okay. So what are we gonna do today? Thank you. Oh, he just took my beak off, too! Come on! It's, part, it's a part of me. We're gonna do a more cash look, but not too far casual. We'll do about here. And let's see. Touch casual. Um, my room is clean now because I cleaned it up. And then let's see. Uh, I like. Wait, prefer to more natural. Natural, I think, is best. I don't really style my hair in real life. We're trying to find the haircut that fits me the best in real life. Let's, even though I did a, a more, like, towards my actual hair, we're gonna try bright today. Color of sweet love, clear sky, new leaves, or angel wings. Let's try new leaves, because that reminds me of the game. Alright, let's do it. She doesn't even, like, input any of this info. <laughs> I think she just asked to make chit-chat so that I tip her better. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> I got a butt head. <laughs> My, I used to kind of have a haircut like this when I was younger. Oh, that actually looks pretty cool with the hat, like the green sticking out from under it. But it's, it's that's speaking of Lucky Charms four leaf clovers. That's what that color looks like. All right, <laughs> that's okay. But I wasn't expecting it to be a little like butt hair. I don't. Yeah, I I, I know I used to put part my hair in the middle like that when I was a kid. But 
that always reminds me of like a kid going to get their school picture you know like it's like a little too formal for most people's liking oh i had some fossils i could have donated but i'll do that later let's head up here Ooh, a nice glass case all right all this stuff is still here at least so the gyroid exhibits coming across light across nicely i'm gonna buy this case while i'm here sorry to wake you she can just like sense me touching the case behind her that's weird all right but so i haven't i also have a new exhibit I need a good picture for it. Uh, if anyone has a, a good design uh, for this, I'll, I'll show it in a second. We're gonna go to the gyroid one real quick first. But um, I need, it doesn't involve slowpoke or even Pokemon or anything. Here's my gyroid part, film it up. I put my Howloid here, cause he was just screaming all the time and I couldn't get any sleep. But anyways, KK Bazaar playing in the background. <laughs> um, so that's the gyroid exhibit. It's filling up pretty quick. I might need to use the second one. And here is, the the, uh, the exhibit, or should I say, clown school. Welcome to clown school, guys. <laughs> this is where I do my clowning. I got my clown supplies here. I can go take a potty if I want. I can open up a closet. I can watch what looks to be Wii Fit on the TV there. The Wii Fit lady is training for Smash Brothers. Uh, yeah, I got my shoes, jester equipment. I put, even put my little pool with my ducky in here. And you can even take a little snooze if you need. Whoa, did you hear the sound? <laughs> boom, boom, boom. It sounds like you're jumping on a, a, almost said a banana, a balloon. So yeah, I got a neon sign. Everything is going good in clan school. The uh, the TV kind of clashes with the museum music. I'm not sure what I'm going to put as the fourth museum, but that was what I was uh, mentioning. I, I put that slowpoke picture there because I didn't have anything like appropriate, but I need a design for clown school. So I'll, either I'll design one or if somebody wants to try to design one, I can, you know, I can use the QR code and put it in there. Uh, that would be kind of cool if anyone feels like it. I was gonna, I was trying to find like a design that looked like it, the it the clown, like really creepy it's face. <laughs> but I could probably just put a picture into a little generator thing and get one of those. Uh, we could check out Nook's homes. Oh, you know, we'll do the joke and then I'll finish up today. We still need to do the dream suite, but I've already done a few things today. I think I'll I'll leave the dream suite for tomorrow, and finally we'll get that going. How's it going, Shrunk? Oh, I forgot to get some fruit. Uh, hold on a, bit, a minute, buddy. I gotta get some fruit out of my little, my letters. I'm still not used to that blue hair. It's a little strange looking. All right, grab one. I, I've carried a little group of pears for a while, but I'm starting to get low. I gotta, I gotta get some more pears. All right, I brought you some food, buddy. What are you gonna teach me today? I wonder if it's, I wonder if there's like a set order, or if it's just random until I get all of them, or if I can double up. That would kind of suck if I, if I could double up on stuff. All right, let's check out your routine. Dun, dun, dun. Get changed, buddy. Get out of those clothes. <laughs> bum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Linky, Linky, Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My sorrow joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. Sorrow. So people often say that they bawled their head off in the movie theater. Ever hear this? Oh, but Molly makes you cry while shouting out loud, right? I've never seen a person cry and scream at the movies before. There's weeping, which you can do quietly. You can also quietly sob while sniffling a lot. There's also that type of sobbing where the words get stuck in your throat, but you can't stop talking. But it would be kind of awkward to say you wept at the movies. Why not just say you cried a lot? Huh? What's with the I don't care face? Come on now. Give me some kind of reaction. It's not fun being ignored. Wah. <laughs> I get the crying face. Sweet. That was a weird, like exercise and word semantics and like teaching me the difference between weeping and I don't know and sorrow it's strange I don't know about th that that didn't really seem like a joke Wee. oh what if I cry near him he doesn't even care I'm crying buddy there we go okay he finally reacted it's not like he doesn't realize that he just taught me how to do that expression and obviously I'm just like faking it next to him. He's like, oh man, are you okay? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just play faking it, man. Those are fake tears. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna go around and get to the bottom of our mysterious little visitor here and figure out who that moved in. It's not just Avery. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye.